Okay, now we're a little further down the path, still at the Swan Lake Botanical Gardens and uh, Iris Garden. Little red fire truck over there in the uh, over in the courtyard next to a kids' playground, and we just passed a restaurant as well, which doesn't seem to be open yet. So now we're going to go through the main gate. Uh, remember, no pets allowed, no littering, no loud noise, no loitering, no recreational sporting equipment. Do not feed the waterfowl. Very important. This is for your safety and theirs. Children under 16 not allowed without parent. So let's see how this gate opens. It's probably uh, pretty simple. There we go. And now we're going into the Swan Lake area. Um, so yeah, not feeding the swans is very important because uh, that's for many reasons, uh, including they can get very aggressive if people start feeding them. They can get very aggressive when people are picnicking and stuff like that. So you don't want to feed any of the birds or wildlife. And here's another signage reminding that. So this uh, park is in Sumter, South Carolina, which is about an hour and 15 minutes from the capital, Columbia. And um, that's where we're staying. Wow, that dragonfly just had a fight with another dragonfly and dropped right in front of me. I don't know if they had a fight or... I'm going to try and wake this one up with my finger. Oh, wow, look at that. It just woke up. So I'm not sure if it was a fight or they just had sex or what. This one definitely is out of it. I'm tapping its wing with my finger and it's just totally out of it. I think it was a fight. Anyway, it just happened right in front of me. Two dragonflies were spinning around and, you know, fighting with each other and they just dropped this one fell to the ground and the other one flew away so he's still struggling i'm going to go ahead and pick him up and drop uh, move him out of the path because he's going to definitely get stepped on right here he's right in the middle of the path which is actually pretty narrow in this spot so don't want to leave him here uh, let's pick him up with a leaf Oh yeah, he's definitely pretty bad, badly injured. Let's see if he can grab onto this leap, leaf. Come on, buddy. Come on. No, he's um. He's not doing too well. Put them up here in the bushes, right on this hydrangea. There you go. Okay, I hope you, I hope you are able to get back to health and fly away again. I'm sorry that other guy beat you up so bad. I'm sending you a blessing and some healing energy. I hope you are able to come back to health soon. Take care, buddy. Okay, back to the lake. There it is. That was actually kind of stressful seeing that happen. But now we're in this beautiful, peaceful setting. And uh, let's see if we can find some swans. I see one way off in the distance, way down there. Oh my God, this is absolutely beautiful. Pretty little lake, a little bit murky. Oh, look at a giant puddle in the path. Oh, here's some Siberian iris. I have a little bit of marker, a little marker here. So there's some more Siberian iris. There's iris all over the place here. Here's some purple iris. And we're walking around.